so the Competitive Enterprise Institute has uh, just last week formally requested that uh, NASA corrects its website in the climate section under the Information Quality Act. So NASA on its website is uh, claiming that there's an overwhelming scientific consensus that humans are responsible for uh, the global warming of the last century. So I'll just give a quote directly from the website. 97% of climate scientists agree that climate warming trends over the past century are extremely likely due to human activities. And most of the leading scientific organizations worldwide have issued issue public statements endorsing this position. And the Competitive Enterprise Institute argues that the evidence that NASA gives on its website doesn't actually support that claim. And they, you know, go uh, at length through the various studies and the, uh, uh, um, yeah, the, the studies that NASA cites in support of that statement. Um, and so there are a couple of problems with that statement. One is immediately on NASA's website itself because it formulates the consensus, the alleged consensus, uh, differently on a, on a different website there. So I, the next quote is, multiple studies published in peer-reviewed scientific journals show that 97% or more of actively publishing climate scientists agree climate warming trends over the past century are extremely likely due to human activities. So immediately you see a different formulation. Now it's not climate scientists as a group. It's, yeah, studies published in peer-reviewed uh, scientific journals have shown, which is it's not the same as actual scientists are of this opinion. And then it's um, of actively publishing climate scientists. And this is related to uh, some of the studies they cite. And this is typical. One is Cook et al. 2013, which uh, Alex has uh, uh, um, Forbes article on dissecting this specifically, and uh, this Forbes article is actually uh, referenced in uh, uh, the petition by the Competitive Enterprise Institute, interestingly. Um, so they, they have varying um, formulations of what the consensus actually is, and uh, the uh, request by Competitive Enterprise Institute actually go through the many flaws that are in these studies. So they are there are a bunch of studies from Oreskes and Cook et al. and Underegg and so on. So these are the typical four or five studies, and they all have fatal flaws in them from, you know, collecting the sample, who is actually of what opinion, how many papers are looked at, in what way. And there are very, very difficult logical flaws in, in these. Um, I don't want to go too deep into that because it would take a long time, but there's just... So Cook et al., for example, just simply found that, yeah, there are a lot of papers. If we put uh, a search term into a database, there are a lot of papers that actually say, um, oh, yeah, humans have something to do with climate change, which is a category almost everyone would get into. Right? Every critic of the IPCC would probably fit into. And uh, so then I also found a, found a problem with... Uh, the different uh, interpretations of the organizations that uh, NASA actually um, brings on its website. So there are organizations that say, oh, over the last 50 years or the second half of the 20th century, which is different than the hundred uh, past 100 years that NASA claimed on its front page, and, uh, you know, to various degrees, and not necessarily the dominant uh, impacting factor from anthropogenic sources, and so on. So they one of the major flaws in this consensus business, even if it would mean anything, and in science, of course, consensus means nothing, but even if it would mean anything, if a significant amount of experts would all agree on something, at least they would have to have some consensus formulation that is coherent. Like what amount of uh, agreement is there on a specific sentence or formulation? And how do we know what the evidence they cite and so on and so forth? And none of the papers cited by NASA does any of that. They are, they are fatally flawed in not showing anything like that. So I think the Competitive Enterprise Institute is right in, in uh, pointing that out and bringing attention to this. I don't think it's, I'm not sure whether that's the actual goal, but I, I'm not sure whether criticizing NASA is all that useful because there are obviously work, people working at NASA that have a vested interest in this consensus narrative. Uh, this bloated bureaucracy at NASA is, is not going to change because of a court 
win or an administrative win on this formulation on the website and so on. But it's it's very important that some light is shed on this. Yeah, maybe the point that resonates with me most is just that that there's that the formulations are so sloppy as evidenced by them being yeah. different in all of these different ways. And you'd expect a scientific organization would try to be very precise. And it, sometimes it would have different formulations in the sense of elaborating on something, but not having, you know, last 50 years since this year, last hundred years, just, it just, it, it, it has this feel of, we're just trying to push, we're just trying to say a lot of scientists agree with something in this direction and therefore we need to do something that 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 comes across 